song, Boundless Love, written by Louise Matheson, a Salvationist from the North Brisbane Court in Australia, draws some of its lyrics from 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. I love the use of the word lavish. One of the definitions of lavish is to expend or give in great amounts or without limit. What a great picture of God's love. He did not give just a little of his love. He didn't give a piece of his love. We didn't get his leftovers. He lavishes his love and gives without limit. And the reason for this is so that we can be called children of God. This concept of limitless love that is so freely given from God is captured in the title of the song, Boundless Love. There is another song in our songbook that also captures this same sentiment. These beautiful words from Annie Flint Johnson say, His love has no limits, His grace has no measure, His power no boundary known unto men. For out of His infinite riches in Jesus, He giveth and giveth and giveth again. The gift of God's love is not just a one-time gift. It is a gift that is continually given. But this boundless love did not come cheaply. It came at a great price. The second verse of boundless love reminds us that Jesus came to pay with his life on the cross. This was so we could be his redeemed creation. Verse 16 of 1 John 3 reminds us of this. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. The end of each verse reminds us that we are his beloved creation. We are his redeemed creation. And because of the work of his love in our lives, we are his transformed creation. The chorus goes on to further remind us of how God's love through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross works in our lives to rescue us from sin and to restore us to a right relationship with him. But the work of God's love does not just stop there. The song reminds us that the boundless love of God that he has lavished on us then moves in our hearts to spread to others in the world and so that we can be agents of change through God in the world around us, sharing this boundless love of God with them. I pray that today you know the boundless love of God in your life and that he has rescued and redeemed you through his love. And I pray that this prayer from Paul in Ephesians 3 verses 16 through 19 is also true in your lives. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Amen.